Bonjour. Bonjour. You're my first ride of the day. And if you can answer my question, your ride is free. It's a new kind of phone? It's a French phone. Ah, uh, it's a person who speaks, who speaks French. French. Oui, c'est ça, mes amis. Et voilà, here we are. Founded in 1897, the Alliance Française de Denver is one of the oldest nonprofit organizations in the Rocky Mountain region. It is based on the first Alliance Française that started in Paris in 1883, and it belongs to a global network of over 800 chapters in 137 countries. Jean-Baptiste Mignolet became the first leader of the organization with the mission of promoting French language and culture. He formed a board of directors, and before the first year was over, they had enrolled 800 pupils for French lessons at the Alliance Française. The famous unsinkable Molly Brown was active in the creation of Denver's Alliance Française. She encouraged new members to join and used her home for French language classes and gatherings. From the beginning, the Alliance Française offered classes for learning the French language and a variety of cultural events, musical concerts, visiting speakers, and opportunities to gather for social occasions. Well, I moved to Denver in 1961, and uh, taught at first, the first job I had in Denver was uh, teaching French at Lakewood Junior High School. The 70s, that there, there were more, peop more French people here. And uh, the consul, as I was trying to say the Council of France in LA came over here and knew of my involvement with various French groups and asked me if I wanted to become honorary consul of France. And it was extremely helpful, extremely helpful with founding L'Alliance & Co, which is the theater branch, the theater arm of uh, Alliance Francaise. Every time somebody came in and spoke decent French, I said, will you, will you be part of our, our theater group? But they did it. Some of them did and became great actors. Since 1978, Alliance and Co., the theater arm of the Alliance Francaise, has produced over 40 years of theatrical productions. I remember I got on the board and I uh, actually I became president in the late 80s and we did a lot of, of um, I guess our big event always that day was, that, that those days was uh, Bastille Day. And I can remember organizing some Bastille Day events, uh, being involved, Frida was involved, remember Jackie Lamb. Uh, you know, we'd been at the, the um, YMCA for a number of years. It was a nice location, it was downtown. And uh, we had looked for new space, and um, Dr. McGlone had started a nonprofit up in the Emerson School. It was up on Emerson Street. And we moved up there, and it was a great old building. It was an old uh, uh, elementary school building. And then it came about that Frieda and I kind of, uh, we um, made the acquaintance of uh, Thomas Sutherland, and, uh, uh, who was, you know, our great benefactor. Um, who eventually helped us purchase this building here because we had the monetary means to do so. Since 2003, the Maison Française has been a cultural hub for hundreds of events and classes. It's kind of been the francophone, francophile 
uh, bastion, you know, I think that our organization, and, and I've always tried to promote it, you know, in my years with um, the organization, that it's a, it should always be a combination of uh, people in the French American community. You know, it's a great melding of a lot of interests that um, um, a lot of people find a home in. You know, a lot of people really, you know, they, 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 this is their tribe, right? I mean, it's a great, it's a great community for that. Uh, je suis francophone, oui. Je suis née en France. So, at Global Village Academy, I'm teaching kindergarten and grade one. So, I met my husband in France, and we decided that I will move to Denver then. When I came here, I wanted to, uh, I wanted to teach, uh, first of all. So, I was wondering if I do this or things like this. And also, I wanted to be uh, to know how was uh, the French community here. Have. The Alliance Française currently offers French classes at locations across the Denver metro area, and specialty classes for travel, kids, and for those looking to improve their language skills. I'm Jean Claude Duno. I'm from Togo, so I was born speaking French. That was the first language I have been speaking till now. I teach all levels of classes. What I really loved about teaching here at the Alliance Francaise is the diversity. So I come, across, I come across people from all over the world. And what I love also about the, the Alliance Francaise is the fact that we can, I can talk about African culture, African countries, all these French speaking countries because of the francophonie which is uh, something in common for all these countries speaking French all over the world. I, was, I drove down 6th Avenue quite often and the Alliance Francaise had this great sign and it was on the outside of the building and it says, learn French. And it, I think the heart of the city is a good place for that because you have a lot of diverse populations here, and um, especially through learning another language, um, you can learn about other cultures as well. Just such a window into the culture. I first arrived in Denver um, in 1997, I'm going to say, uh, and that's uh, when I first came to the Alliance also. The Alliance Francaise has got the um, uh, educational uh, mission, you know, through classes, as well as cultural mission to promote uh, the La Culture Francaise and the French culture. I taught uh, classes to kids. You meet uh, parents. I, I absolutely love when um, parents share um, phone numbers with each other. And, you know, the Alliance facilitates all these kind of, you know, uh, friendship, relationship, that kind of thing. Bonjour, je m'appelle Philippe Marsay. J'ai eu le bonheur et l'honneur d'être directeur de l'Alliance de 2011 à 2015. Pourquoi j'aime l'Alliance française de Denver Pour les personnes qui la font vivre, ses membres, ses bénévoles, son conseil d'administration, son personnel, ses profs, ses élèves, toutes ces personnes qui construisent, tissent et font vivre un lien si fort entre la France et le Colorado et à qui je dis un très grand merci. Merci pour toutes ces fantastiques rencontres qui n'auraient pas pu avoir lieu sans l'Alliance française de Denver. Toutes ces différences qui nous enrichissent, comme dit Paul Valéry, Enrichissons-nous de nos différences. Et ce qui est extraordinaire, c'est que cela dure depuis plus d'un siècle. Alliance Française de Denver, je t'aime. The Alliance Française de Denver organizes numerous cultural and social events annually. Whether you like the arts, fashion, gastronomy, literature, or simply enjoy the French joie de vivre, there are many events for you to be a part of while enriching your learning experience. I moved to Denver from Montreal and worked very hard on my French in Montreal. As I uh, was working at the Musée des Beaux-Arts, 
uh, which at that time was a, a very French-speaking institution, and I was the token Anglophone. Shortly after joining, um, I saw there was a need for an art gallery coordinator. This is such a wonderful space we have here for the gallery. And so um, artists uh, that display are members. One, one has to be a member to display here. And um, I'm always on the lookout for artists that would like to share here in this space. Well, you know, we're on the border of the Santa Fe Arts District. So it only made sense that to participate. And so we are open, the gallery is open first Fridays. In fact, that is usually the opening of a show here to coordinate with the festivities over on Santa Fe. And that's one of the things I've enjoyed here with the, with the gallery is meeting the artists and, and seeing the depth and breadth of their creativity. The gallery also serves as a great spot for receptions, social gatherings, wine tastings, as well as traveling speakers and shows. Uh, I like the spirit. Uh, every time I went with my husband in an event, it was very warm, it was very diverse, also many different people. People, French people, people who were uh, students in French, people who were students in French, people who traveled to France. There's an event I really like, you know, I haven't been able to attend that event, you know, too many times, but I really like the feel of it. It's called Saint Cassette. Uh, so it's 5 to 7 p.m. and really it is an aperitif, you know. Share a drink, share a nibble and, and, and chat. In 2020, the gallery was transformed into an intimate theater space for performances of The Little Prince. And the patio is a great location for music, dance and pétanque. Café Bulls is kind of how I found out about the Alliance when uh, I first moved to Denver. Um, and then I've been studying French for long time <laughs> and uh, also you know found out that they do courses schools tests for like the the Dow for the Delph um, for like the exams and stuff like that so, uh, I've been playing pétanque I would say like officially on the regular probably seven years give or take seven eight years I love the strategy behind pétanque um, also the sound the, the organization um, and the school itself has definitely helped me. Um, I just recently passed one of my DALF exams um, and plan to take more, uh, the A2, B1, and continue on with my, my exams as well. And the Alliance has lots of information, lots of resources and people to help. And yeah, it's uh, very well organized and yeah, it's an incredible, incredible school. It is such a welcoming organization and group of people, both staff, um, uh, board members and members and the joie de vivre that is here um, in this building um, that's created by those who enter the building. I was uh, in high school, I studied French and the only thing I wanted to do was go to France. Somehow France was always just the height of culture, beauty, life, how to live well. Well, they found me after the wall of the building partially collapsed and uh, I had been engaged in working with traditional architecture and older buildings and when they reached out to ask me to consult with them on what to do in terms of repairing the building or rebuilding or even completely reimagining their home, I thought, I really want to make this a place that when people walk in the door, they just love being here and they want to stay and they want to hang out and they want to speak French. I would say, you know, a vision for what the Alliance looks like in the future is one that is active and vibrant and um, that the building itself reflects fully the vibrancy of the organization. It's always a continuation and we're all, all stewards. Um, I mean, this is our period in time, and we look back in history, and those of us who've been involved for a long time um, recognize the past when we look to the future. And um, everybody needs to recognize that you're part of a continuum, and, and this is our period to make a great Alliance Francaise. And I mean, I urge people you know, to be involved. Let's keep you know, our central Alliance Francaise vibrant uh, to get people down here to the, um, to the main school and the main building and, and keep this a great, you know, great um, center of activity for, 
for French culture and speaking French.